Capricorn, what is going on with you? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan Hill from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Capricorn Love Reading. Today we're going to take a look at your romantic person of interest and how they really feel about you here in June 2024. We're also going to look at what they're thinking about you, what their intentions are toward you, and what their most likely actions are going to be toward you as we move through the rest of June 2024 and beyond. And then I'm going to finish the reading off by getting you some advice from the universe on how to best navigate the situation you're finding yourself in with this person, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, how you should play it so things work out in the way that's best for you and your own greatest good. So let's get started here. Let's get three cards for how does Capricorn's romantic person of interest really feel about them here in June 2024, please. Making me dig for it. I see how they're going to be. All right. Underlying this person's feelings for you, Capricorn, we have the King of Cups. This is either Pisces or Scorpio energy. This is someone who has a lot of love and emotions for you. The King of Cups doesn't always wear their heart on their sleeve, though. So this can be someone who does have all these emotions for you and doesn't necessarily outwardly express that. They don't really publicly broadcast how they feel about things, good or bad. So this can also be someone who's going through emotional turmoil of some kind. And you probably wouldn't know that either just because they don't like to express how they're feeling necessarily. But definitely have a lot of love and emotions for you. I have the Eight of Wands right behind that. This is Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. This is about rushing forward very quickly and making a lot of progress or movement on something there's a lot of passion and desire for. This can represent rapid back and forth passionate communications happening. This can represent travel over distances. This can also just be a whole lot of energy coming at your person all at one time to the point that they might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed here. It usually indicates something moving very fast. Okay, I have the King of Pentacles right behind that. So it looks like we're making progress on these emotions and actually taking action on something and moving forward towards something could be husband type energy here the king of pentacles usually like a husband energy a provider energy doesn't necessarily mean you're actually married to this person it can just mean that they're viewing themselves in that kind of a light as it relates to you 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 would be showing up as queen of pentacles which is the other half of this equation so they're probably viewing themselves as counterparts to you in terms of you know like physically living together physically combining a life together getting married things of that nature here I have the ace of cups right behind that so this is a new beginning in love and emotions sometimes this can represent like filling the cup back up between the two of you this is something that has a lot of potential for emotional happiness here that's all underlying how they're feeling about you here in June 2024, Capricorn. First card in their energy, the Lovers, Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. So it's looking like we got some progress happening on a powerful love connection. This, this is Gemini's major arcana card. Represents that this is a powerful connection in terms of how they're feeling about it. They might be viewing you as the one for them. Just want to be clear, this card does not actually mean that this is like God confirming that, yep, this is the one for you. It's not what it's ever meant. I know there's a lot of readers that try to tell you that or they'll try to tell you this is about Twin Flames and no, neither of those is true. Hell, Twin Flames wasn't even a thing that got invented and concocted by some cult leader until the 70s. So this deck was made in 1908, 1909. So there's no possible way that this card has anything to do with Twin Flames because Twin Flames didn't exist when this deck was made. This used to be called The Choice a long time ago before it was called The Lovers. So it represents the interconnectedness between people and how they can't make choices that don't affect you and vice versa. You can't make choices that don't affect them. It can indicate a choice in the love connection. Sometimes it can indicate a choice between lovers. Don't see anything that tells me that. So they're feeling the power of this connection and we have the scorpio energy of the seven of cups next central to their feelings this is options and choices and confusion about those options and choices there's a lot of cups here there's a lot of stuff in these cups there's a lot of emotions involved here and they don't want to pick the wrong cup and make some kind of a mistake but the clouds of smoke can represent that they're feeling confused emotionally 
can represent that they just have clouded judgment, clouded decision making. There's something that they can't quite see yet. There is some sort of there is some sort of a hesitancy here, it feels like, and I'm not sure exactly where that's coming from. I also have the Hierophant in their feelings for you. This is the Taurus Major Arcana card. This is a card of being committed to something bigger than themselves. In a relationship reading, that would be being fully committed to you in this connection, trying to take this to the next level of living together, combining your lives together, being married, something along those lines. So it looks like they're feeling the power of this connection with you. Let's take a look at what they're thinking is about you, Capricorn. What's this person thinking about Capricorn here in June 2024? Okay, time out. We're shooting them all over the place here. They got a lot of thinking going on, it looks like. Okay, that's a little odd. Underlying this person's thinking about you, Four of Cups. This is Cancer energy of being not fully emotionally happy or content with what they have right here in front of them. So much so that they're daydreaming about this other cup, this other thing that they believe could lead them to their happiness and fulfillment. I get this a lot when there's a love offer on the table between the two of you already and the offer hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. It's just kind of been left hanging here in the air with nothing really being done about it. I also get this when people are contemplating making a love offer to you and they just haven't for some reason, usually out of fear of being rejected. This three cups here that they're not fully happy with has a couple of meanings. The three of cups can be about being united and celebrating. So this could be that they're not happy right now and not fully content because you're not together right now. And that's the thing that they're daydreaming about. I did see that ace of cups in the underlying story when I looked at their feelings. Sometimes that three cups can represent third party love triangle because there are three cups of love in the picture there. And sometimes this is a thing where I can't I can't get this other person out of my head, either if they have another person or if you had another person that you brought into the connection and they can't get that out of their head. I don't know that that's what's going on here. It's looking like there's some sort of a decision that needs made about this connection or about what the next step in this connection is, like that would take it to that next level to make them happy. I got judgment behind that. This is a powerful major arcana card about a final decision being made in a relationship reading. <clears throat> that decision, excuse me, <clears throat> is always either A, we're going to call this dead and over with and there's no coming back from it, or B, we're going to try to resurrect this and bring it back from the grave, bring it back to life and transform this so that it's never this funky way again. Looking like we're looking for a decision about the thing that would make them happy. I have the King of Wands right behind that. This is either Leo or Sagittarius energy. This is a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person who knows exactly what they want. They don't usually take no for an answer. They don't usually let obstacles and challenges and problems stop them from getting what they want. This is the kind of person that's very driven and motivated and determined. And they're either going to find a way to get what they want or they're going to make a way to get what they want. It's also the pinnacle of the wand suit, and the wand is the phallic symbol of the deck, so it can represent the male phallus and sexual energy and that kind of stuff. So this is someone who's not just driven and motivated, they're also motivated in that sense, that sexual energy sense. I don't know if something has happened between the two of you, or if they just like really, really bound and determined to get some decision made so that they can finally get what they want. Yeah, definitely it's about what they want. Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. This is a step backwards from the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is that combined together emotionally where we're pouring ourselves into each other emotionally and everyone's fully loved and fully happy and fully appreciated. It's like the happily ever after type of an energy. This is a step back from that. So this is singles energy. This is about personal happiness and personal wish fulfillment. looks like what their happiness is tied to is some decision getting made probably to bring a connection back yeah i have eight of pentacles behind it virgo energy of putting in the work putting in the time effort and the energy to get this thing that i want or at the very least being willing to put in that work that's what's underlying they're thinking about you capricorn 
In their actual thoughts, we got Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, the World, and the Tower. Okay, so I've had the Eight of Wands already. I've got the World now. Both of those can be cards that would indicate travel. This Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. It's got a few meanings. I'm going to give all of them to you. You take it how it resonates for you. The first most common meaning is lying, cheating, stealing, deception, sneaking around behind someone's back trying to get away with something that they shouldn't have been trying to get away with. Like I said, it doesn't always mean that. Another thing it can mean is self-preservation, as in I don't want to get hurt, which is, in fact, why the dude is stealing these swords. He doesn't want to get hurt by the swords. He doesn't want the swords used against him, so he steals them to make sure that can't happen. So it can represent self-preservation and not wanting to get hurt. It can also represent leaving something behind because he can't carry all the swords and he has to leave these two behind. It's kind of interesting that the two swords represents a decision that needs to be made that hasn't been made yet and i'm seeing like i'm not fully happy and i'm daydreaming about this thing that i want and there's the decision that needs to be made is what it's looking like sometimes this can just represent coming up with a new clever strategy to get what they want sometimes this can represent sneaking off in the night there's definitely some choice, some decision here. It's tied directly to the lover. So now, this could be a choice between two lovers. We could have had some sneaky, deceptive behavior going on. We could be not fully happy with what they have now, and they can't quit thinking about you. Maybe made the wrong decision. I do see the options and the choices and the confusion about that. So far, this is feeling like I'm getting conflicting messages here and usually when that happens I'm I'm getting two messages at the same time so take this however it resonates it might be one way for you and the other way for the very next Capricorn that shows up after you next in there thinking I got the six of cups this is Scorpio energy of the past it's thinking about the past reminiscing about the past thinking about the good old days and the way things used to be between the two of you it represents a deep emotional connection. It represents history between the two of you. It can also represent something from the past coming back up again. Maybe there was some sneaky deceptive behavior in the past. Maybe there was some options in the past. This could be something like that coming back up. This can represent a person from the past coming back up. Could just mean that they're they're confusing themselves because they're thinking about too much of the past. I have the world next, which is the final card in the Major Arcana. This represents the completion of one cycle and at the same time the beginning of the next cycle. In terms of zodiac signs, this is the four fixed signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. There, there's definitely something ending and something new beginning here. I don't know what that's tied to the hierophant, to the commitment, to the taking things to the next level. It could be that we had some kind of a problem in the past where some decision was made <clears throat> and maybe the decision was made out of confusion. Maybe the decision was made out of, you know, some strategy to not get hurt or to leave something behind even. It could be that your person has left something behind to be with you and they're doing a lot of thinking about the past as in before that and the cycles that they have ended in order to begin this cycle of being in a commitment with you. Either way, final card in their thinking is the tower. This is the collapse of something important in your person's life that they're doing some thinking about. This is sometimes the collapse of a relationship. Sometimes it's the collapse of a belief system. Sometimes this is just the loss of something here. If we're ending a cycle and leaving something behind, it could be a game changer for your person. This is usually a foundation rocking event. It's not always a bad thing. <clears throat> it just typically means that something has happened and nothing's the same after that point. Everything is different for your person. It can be a problematic thing. It can also be something positive. If you think about like if you won the lottery today, that's a tower moment because your life's going to be completely different after that. Let's take a look at what this person's intentions are toward you. What are this person's intentions? Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck. 
underlying their intentions, Temperance, Sagittarius, Major Arcana. I'm getting a lot of Major Arcana cards here. I've got some Gemini, some Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, the four fixed signs, a little bit of Libra now, and some more Sagittarius. This is an energy of patience. It's about blending two things together in order to make something new, but it's about being patient, doing that, doing it little bits at a time, not all at once, and being able to come back in and make some fine-tuning adjustments to something. I get this card a lot when something is really out of balance, and this is showing up as a need to recalibrate the thing that's out of balance and bring it more back into balance. I also get this card a lot for reconciliation because in tarot, water represents love. And here the love has been separated into two different cups and this angel's recombining it back together into one. I've seen the ace of cups. I've seen the four of cups where there's that cup hanging here in the air that they think would make them happy. Could be that this is looking like a, a spot here where you guys are getting back together or at least that's what this person looks like they're intending to do they're they're trying to heal something here and balance something back out to get to this ace of pentacles which is a new opportunity presenting itself it's a physical tangible real world physical opportunity it's not an idea or a concept it's something that you can touch queen of cups to get an opportunity with this person that they have all the love and emotions for. I saw them as King of Cups earlier. This is the counterpart to that King of Cups. This is Cancer Energy. This is them having a lot of love and emotions for you, but the Queen has a lid on her cup because she's guarded. She's trying to protect her emotions from getting contaminated. She doesn't want anything to get in her emotions and hurt her, so she's a little hesitant here. What she really wants to do is take the lid off the cup and pour her love into someone She's just a little hesitant. It's feeling like we had some kind of a problem in the past and that they're now at the stage where whatever was problematic, they're leaving that behind and ending that cycle. And it's, it's probably a radical shift for them. But there's patience here. There's recombining the two of you. There's an opportunity to get to this, this love. Yeah, King of Cups right behind it. So I've got the counterparts here, King and Queen of Cups. These are two cards that are supposed to be together. That represents two people that might supposed to be together here. At, at the very least, they would work very well together in this love and emotion sense. These two actually build the Ten of Cups together. So that's looking pretty good. That's underlying their intentions. What's actually out here in their intentions. Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Fool. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning in passion and desire, a passionate new beginning. Sometimes this can represent like sparking up a brand new connection. I don't feel like this is a brand new connection with the two of you. This is one that's been here for a minute. I've got Six of Cups here, so there's history in this connection. I've got the world and the fool now, so we've been a full lap around the block and it's like we're intending to start a new lap here. So this can sometimes be trying to fire a connection back up, trying to re-spark the passion, re-spark the desire in the connection. Start back over at the beginning in terms of, you know, the, the drive and the determination and, and the passion in this connection. It is also the phallic symbol of the deck. It's the male you-know-what and using it to do you-know-what. So it can represent sexual energy and all that jazz here. And they have that in their intentions as well. But it's looking like they're intending to get you back and like re-spark this connection. I have two of swords next. I referenced that when I looked at the seven of swords because those are the two swords that are being left in the background. Something being left behind. This is a Libra energy of a decision that needs to be made, only it hasn't been made yet. The person on the card has a blindfold on, so sometimes that can represent that there's just not enough information to make the decision yet, and that's why it hasn't been made. Sometimes that blindfold represents that there's something that this person doesn't want to see, doesn't want to look at. They were kind of like ignoring something or didn't want to put that option on the table as one of the things to choose from. So sometimes that's like a denial type of an energy here. I do have confusion about something from their past and some sort of a decision related to something from the past versus starting this new, firing this back up with you is what it's looking like, like recombining the two of you together. I do have a lot of opportunity, a lot of love, a lot of passion here. 
It's looking to me like your person had to leave something behind it in order to come to this next step with you. I do have the Fool next in their intentions, which is the very first card of the Major Arcana, card zero. That zero represents absolutely nothing and the potential for everything all at the same time. It's when you end a cycle with the world, the next thing you do at the same time is start back over at card zero at the beginning all over again. So I've got this, this commitment and taking things to the next level. And then looks like something came to an end with that. But then now we've probably left something behind from their past and made a different decision here that's changed things. And they're intending it looks like to actually make this decision that they haven't been making and take this blind leap of faith and just say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to leap off this cliff and I'll worry about how to grow wings on my way down. We'll figure this out as we go along. This is just like starting at the beginning and just doing it. That's their intentions anyway, but you know how people are, what we intend to do and what we actually do don't always match up. So let's take a look at what this person's most likely actions are going to be toward Capricorn as we move through the rest of June 2024 and beyond. Okay, very, very odd. I think this came first. Okay. Yeah. Underlying their most likely actions, there's that Four of Cups again. Cancer energy of not being fully happy, not being fully content with what they have in front of them, and daydreaming about this other thing that would bring them their happiness and fulfillment. At least that's what they believe. Again, I don't know if this is a love offer that hasn't been said yes or no to. I do have that decision that needs made that hasn't been made, and this person having some confusion going on. It's definitely about a decision to do that. This is probably them contemplating it. And then we're getting to the actual decision of doing it here. Yeah, they're walking away from something. Eight of Cups. This is Pisces energy of emotionally detaching and then physically detaching and walking away. A lot of times this will be someone has to go see if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence or not. Like they got to walk away and see if there's something better out there for them. Sometimes this is just them detaching from something and leaving it behind and maybe they had to make a decision to do that and maybe maybe there's elements of before they made that decision they weren't fully happy because they didn't have you and then after they make the decision there could be some element of them still not being fully happy with something based on the decision. That's underlying their most likely actions. What's out here? Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. I got two tens out here. I've got the world. All three of those cards are completion energies. The Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy of a heavy burden that's being carried by this person. It's something that's weighing them down. So they're likely to continue carrying the burden, it looks like. Uh, maybe that's part of what their decision was because this is a completion. This is supposed to be the spot where they lay this burden down and move on without it, which would start them back over at the beginning of the wand suit again. And the ace of wands, the beginning of that suit is right above them. So it's looking like that that's what's going on. Next in their most likely actions, nine of swords, Gemini energy of fear, worry, and anxiety. This is thinking about something over and over and over again with all this fear and worry behind their thinking and doing that to the point that it manifests itself as stress in the physical body. This would be sleepless nights, nightmares, can't concentrate on what I'm doing, can't shut my mind off, maybe can't eat. This is mental anguish. Again, some they have their eyes covered here. That's It's something that they have represented in their mind as being so bad that they don't want to face it. They don't want to look at that. And I think that has something to do with this decision that wasn't being made. I keep seeing the decision here. Like, I'm not happy, and I know what would make me happy. It just requires a decision that I haven't actually decided to do. I think they have decided to walk away from something from their past. I think they're leaving something behind from their past. 
think they're laying some sort of a burden down and they still have some worries and anxiety about doing that even though they're fully intending to just leap off this cliff and go for it with you like start over at the beginning on this commitment here i do have the five of pentacles Fives are conflict and change. This is a Taurus energy of abandonment, being cast aside, being left out in the cold, discarded, walked away from. It's like there's this commitment and wanting to take it to the next level, expecting to get happiness from this connection with you. They're ending a cycle of something and starting something new, taking the blind leap of faith. This is walking away from something that they have fear, worry, and anxiety and stress about walking away from. I keep getting this leaving behind feeling. That's what this tower is about. They've had to give up something important in their life in order to be with you. And it looks like they intend to do that. And here it looks like that's exactly what they're doing. They're pushing through the fear, worry, and anxiety and the burden that that's placing on them like mentally and psychologically. I think they're laying something down and walking away from it. The final card and what they're most likely to do is the Ten of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. It's maximum stability, maximum abundance, maximum prosperity. This is the combining together of two people or two families and all their assets and resources in order to build this stable, abundant, prosperous, happy home life that we all want. This is most people's goal in the physical reality. I get this a lot when people have combined their lives together and are living together or are married. I've got the marriage card. I saw the King of Pentacles toward the beginning. Don't see Queen of Pentacles yet. And I think that's because they're not actually with you. And that's what it looks like they're trying to move forward into being with you. I think it just requires them to leave something behind that's going to be a game changer for them. And they're still a little freaked out about it that's what it looks like let's scoot this over a little bit that's your person's energy let's take a look at the advice from the universe for you capricorn how should you navigate this what should you do what should you not do how should you play this so things work out in the way that's best for you and your own greatest good let's get the advice for capricorn please get one more what is the advice for Capricorn thank you underlying your advice six of cups we have already seen that out here in the center of your person's thinking about you the card of the past thinking about the past reminiscing thinking about the good old days and the way things used to be between the two of you this is a deep emotional connection you have with this person There's history here. Like I said, this can represent something or someone from the past coming back up again. I got the emperor behind that. This is about, it's Aries major arcana energy. It's about taking control, taking charge of a situation. The emperor is a master manifester in the sense that they're someone who puts together a plan to get what they want. And then they execute the plan to get what they want. They take control they set the boundaries. They call the shots. This feels like it's talking about your person again. Like there's something from their past that they're taking control over and probably setting some boundaries on. And they have a plan, it looks like, to leave something behind and get to you. And I have the Five of Cups behind that which is Scorpio energy. Again, it's a conflict. It's a change. I've got two references out here to leaving something behind. And maybe in the past, they just couldn't make the decision to do that because it was going to be a super big game changer for them. And they probably have a lot of anxiety about it, but it looks like they're doing it anyway. Just saying, screw it, I'm going to go for it. This Five of Cups... You can see the person on the card he's, he's got these three cups in front of him that are spilled and that represents the love and emotions the time effort and energy that's been spilled and wasted between the two of you there's these two cups here though that i think this is something that your person has some kind of an attachment to 
and they're dumping those cups out here. So again, it's looking to me like they're probably having to man up and, and leave something behind from their past in order to get to this with you. When I look at what actual came actually came out for your advice, Capricorn, let's get this up here so we can see it. I got the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. So I got two pages out here. Pages are like early stages of something, like beginning at beginning on something. This Three of Wands is Aries energy of essentially waiting. This is about like, you already know what it is that you want. You've already chosen the path that you believe is going to lead you to the thing that you want. You've started taking actions down that path. And you fully expect the thing that you want is going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. And this is an energy of waiting on it to actually materialize in the physical reality. This is about being at the beginning stages of manifesting what you want. Page of Swords. Pages are messengers. <clears throat> so this can be news and messages in communications. This can be an energy of someone who is trying to learn something, trying to figure something out, doing their due diligence, like snooping around, trying to, trying to figure out if the thing I'm waiting on is actually going to happen or not. I have a feeling like in the past, your person was blocking something with you, probably because they didn't want to dump out this other thing that they were had some sort of an attachment to. And I think this is you because you're still waiting, trying to figure out. I mean, hell, what I'm doing right now kind of qualifies as the Page of Swords because I'm snooping around in this person's energy and what's going on between the two of you trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So what I'm doing qualifies as this. You watching this qualifies as that. But this could just be you doing some thinking about it and trying to figure it out while you're waiting. Next, I have Three of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy of teamwork, collaboration, working together as equals to build something of value. Typically, what you're working together to build is this Ten of Pentacles. That's the final card and what they're most likely to do. This is laying the foundations for this building a life together, for this taking things to the next level. So you're trying to figure out if the thing you're waiting on, which is that, is ever going to show up or not. And it is the Eight of Wands again, second fastest energy in the deck. This is Sagittarius energy, very fast forward movement on something, very fast forward progress on something that there's a lot of passion and desire for. This can indicate travel. Three of Wands can indicate travel. Yeah, the world. I already saw the Eight of Wands at some other point. So I've got a few cards out here that could indicate travel. This can just be an overwhelming amount of energy. This can be a lot happening all at one time. This can just be very fast movement and progress toward the thing that you want. You're waiting on it to happen, and it looks like at some point very soon, if it hasn't already happened, there's going to be a lot of fast progress on that. I have Page of Wands next. Again, news, messages, communications, this time about passion or desire. This can be expressing what it is that you want, expressing interest in something. This is also the minor arcana version of this fool card that's in your in-person's intentions. This is about taking that blind leap of faith and just saying, screw it and leaping off the cliff and I'll figure it out as I go. This is a little bit more of a toned down version of that. This is about having the willingness to take the very first step down this brand new path that you have all this passion and desire for. So I've got the willingness to take the steps. This is like already started taking the steps and now I'm just waiting on the thing to show up and doing some thinking to figure out if it is going to show up. Central to all of it is that laying the foundations for the Ten of Pentacles of working together to build a life together and all this progress that's going to happen on that. So it looks like things are about to pick up, business is about to pick up, and things are going to move forward for you pretty quickly, it's looking like. Now, if you still have questions about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. When you do, you'll be taken to more Capricorn love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. 
and I'll see you in the next video.